Hey everyone, in this video I'll be explaining three-stage VTEC. Now if you haven't already watched my video on VTEC, you should watch that first and that'll help make things clearer in this video. Now the difference between three-stage VTEC and a regular VTEC is that a normal VTEC has two operating modes, one for low to mid-range RPM and one for high-range RPM. Three-stage incorporates a dedicated mid-range RPM setting and a dedicated low-range. Uh, so you have three different phases which your uh, valves can operate on. So one thing it adds is you're going to have two oil lines with two separate solenoids controlling uh, two different sets of pins. Where in regular VTEC you just had this one set of pins here, uh, three stage has added another at the top which can connect the outer two rocker arms. So when you're in stage one at low RPMs, you're going to have just this outside um, rocker arm operating. You can see that this one, this other rocker arm, is just on a circle here. It's not actually on a cam lobe, so it doesn't open at low RPMs. That means you're just using a single intake valve with your stage one of this three-stage uh, VTEC system, which means only 12 valves are going to be used. And this is assuming you've got a uh, dual overhead cam system. So you'll still have two exhaust valves operating, but just a single intake valve operating. And what this does is it mixes the air really well um, at these low RPMs. So when you just open up one side, uh, one intake valve, and the air comes in, it'll swirl around and mix with the fuel really well. So what this allows Honda to do is use an air-fuel ratio of somewhere around 20 to 1 rather than around 15 to 1 and save fuel at low range RPMs. Now, so what happens when you get to a mid-range RPM? Well, as you can see here, you've got this solenoid line with oil. This oil pressure will activate this pin, and this pin will lock these two outer rocker arms together. So now, this cam lobe here is also going to be operating this other valve. So as that opens up and pushes these valves down, these, since they're locked together, will push, push both valves down. So as you can see in the low range, where you've just got one valve coming down. Now in the mid-range RPM, you've got two valves coming down, but not a very great distance. You're still kind of maintaining power and efficiency. And so once you get to the high range is when you can activate and you want to get, you want to get more power. Uh, you, you don't really care about efficiency if you're revving at 7,000 RPMs. So what this does is it activates the lower uh, pin set, just like in traditional VTEC, um, and so the top are both locked and then the bottom are locked as well. And so now everything operates on this center cam. And since this center cam, cam lobe is larger than, these other, than this other cam lobe here, it's going to dominate and force the intake valves to go down for a longer duration and a longer distance. So as you can see here with the high RPM, your valves are going to go down even more and once again, for the mid-range and the high-range, you're going to have 16 valves operating rather than 12, like in the low-range. So this gives you a really good balance. When you're at low RPM, you can get incredible efficiency, and when you're at high RPM, you can actually get pretty decent power.